Hi, I'm Larry Black, and today we're looking back. About 20 years ago, I had an idea to get a room filled with country music people, singers, songwriters, put together 30 of them. They love to tell stories. They love to share with each other. And today, they get to share with you. This is Looking Back with Larry Black. You know what? You showed up on a great day today. We've got a little Jimmy Dickens and big Jimmy Dean going toe to toe on this Looking Back episode. Oh, stick around for the end of it. You'll hear a little bit of Big Bad John. <laughs> Our great guitar player, Jimmy Dickens, who has become uh, the orchestra leader here. You had a word uh, uh, for Mr. Dean. You, I heard you call Jimmy Dean a gentleman. Yes, he is a gentleman, Mr. Dean. He is a gentleman. What's a gentleman, and you know what a gentleman is. What's that? That's a man that can play in an accordion but won't. <laughs> <laughs> Where is your accordion, Dean? I, I knew. I knew right that where Dick it ought to be in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> I knew that Dickens was going to smart mouth me, so I've got it coming in in a minute. And I've got three accordion solos coming up. <laughs> Lady of Spain. But it's going to be here. I'll get you. Keep your mouth shut, it's Dickens. Okay, but I won't be here. I'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> My band and I got off the plane one time in New York City, coming back from Europe, and coming through the lobby, and way off over in the corner, I heard somebody say, Jimmy Dickens is a midget and his feet don't match. <laughs> Guess who? Jimmy Dean. He sells sausage. <laughs> I told him a while ago, I said, if you'll just tell me what's wrong with my playing, I'll try to fix it. He said, I don't like anything about your playing. Fix that. <laughs> and I thought he was my friend all these years. I love you to death, and you know that. And Never I did use me on none of your sessions. But you, listen. <laughs> What'd you say? You never did use me on none of your sessions. Well, if I still couldn't, I wouldn't now, either. I, I ain't never I been on your boat, either. Now, you've been invited. You've been invited. We've yeah, got a... but you know something about that? I got that invitation. I don't know how I ever got it, because it didn't have any postage on it. I had to pay 39 cents to get That's it. That's it. That's it. I just want you to work a few more gigs so you can get your axe fixed. Don't you worry about it. When you play as much guitar as I do, they come undone. Tell you one thing, I learned a valuable lesson. Don't you ad lib with Dickens, he'll, he'll cut you to ribbons, that little sucker. And I'll get you after this show. Well, one you didn't turn down was Big Bad John. Give us a little bit of John here. Well, that one I wrote. They they say they say uh, hard to turn down one you wrote. Well, they say that, that necessity is a mother of invention and. Uh, when I first started coming to Nashville, you recorded four songs in a three-hour session. Can you feature that, friend? That don't happen anymore, does it? But uh, I had three sides, and I wrote Big Bad John in about an hour and a half on a on a plane coming to Nashville. Uh, can you? I know you can't, Jimmy. It's all right. Just <laughs> he sits over there and tries to figure out whether to scratch his watch or wind his butt. He don't know. <laughs> I pick on him because I invited him to my house to a picking one time and he got busy and couldn't show up. Uh, Y'all, we had a big vocal group when we recorded this and we don't have them here. Oh, yes, you do. I don't know if I want this group. Don't you play guitar. Now, Jimmy, I'm telling you, don't play guitar until they get holes on both sides of that. Don't play it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll start with the chorus. Ready? Big John. Big John. Big John. Big John. Big John. 
Donna, I can take this bunch on the road with me. Dang. That was really good. Every morning at the mine, you could see him arrive. He stood six foot six and weighed 245, kind of broad at the shoulder and narrow at the hip. And everybody knew you didn't give no lip to Big John. Here we go. Big John, Big John. Telling you that we'll do the last one, you see, and this is where you break and give me this dramatic ending. You got it? Now they never reopened that worthless pit; they just placed a marble stand in front of it. These few words are written on that stand. You break it kind of quicker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I say here, uh, I'm going to end this bill like I wrote it. And then I, they released it, and they said, you can't say that on a record. Now you can say anything. But I wrote it, at the bottom of this mine lies one hell of a man, Big John. Big John, Big John, Big Bad John. Oh, you were good. Thank you. Wasn't that great? And as always, hit the subscribe button and remember to remember.